hello student in this video we are going to understand few things about the scratch 3 this is the latest version what we are using over here this is scratch 3 which is compatible with windows 7 and windows 10 here we can see in this figure few of the important tabs or icons available on the scratch working from the the cat which is available on your screen that is called a spirit using this spirit we will make our animation or any film or short story then where the spirit is kept that area this white color area is called as stage near it you can see a green color flag this is called a green flag this flag is used to start the animation then these blocks are called block category so that from there we can select our desired command then where we are keeping our content the instruction the commands that area is called script area this script area is available for putting our command or instruction or we can say drag and dropping our command or instruction on this area then we have three tabs over here this tab is consists of custom and source and the code these are the three tabs available over here then you can see one blue color box that is showing the spirit the spirit which is we have selected over here this one is the spirit and next we have choose a spirit that means it's a library it's a spirit library from where we can select any desirable character for our own story. Near to it we can see it's a place where we can find it. We can find some pictures we're putting in our background over this stage. So I hope student you have understood this outline of the scratch program. Now I will show you some practical on this program, on this software. Now, student, you have, as you click on the software that you have installed, and I already explained how to install the Scratch 2 or 3 on your system. If you haven't, then so kindly watch the first video that I have uploaded regarding this Scratch. How to download the things. Now student after downloading you will get this kind of interface now I am using scratch 2 and this is my spirit the area this is a stage the white color area these are the three tabs you can see script script in that script we have block palette this blue color and this is what we have a blocks of command then custom where we can change the spirit color shape size and sound where we can change or provide the sound to our character this is the spirit now how we can animate our spirit that we are going to understand in this video different command box are given over here you can see as you click on it you will get different command box first you have to select the event so that it will be decided that when your animation will start so we will always start with event for that I am selecting when flag is clicked for what for selecting this command you have to click the left button of the mouse click it don't release and then release in this area this area is called script area we are now writing script for our animation so now first command I have taken when flag is clicked then you have to go to motion because I want to move the spirit. I want the spirit to move. So I am selecting move command. Here you have to again drag it and drop it. Now connect this. This line should be connected. This one should be connected. Then only it will work. So now click the green flag. Here it is. Green flag is available. The spirit should move 10 steps. So let's see whether it works or not. I am clicking the green flag. Now student you can see that our spirit is moving as you click on the flag. 
So I hope students you have understood this much how to do the spirit. Now we will do one more program with it. If I just connect. this 10 steps forever 10 step now with the forever block move 10 step is written and now I know that when cat will move 10 step it will go out of this boundary whatever the stage boundary is there it will go out of the boundary so I have to do in such a way that the cat will not go out of this boundary it will return back as it strike to this boundary the head so I will select one more command from here. If on edge bounce back, so I am going to. So it is what if on edge means if the spirit is moving continuously and when it comes to this edge of the boundary, it will bounce back. Let's see whether it works or not. I am clicking on it, fly, it is moving and bouncing. Back. So you can see, student, how the cat is bouncing back as it touches the boundary and as I click the red button it will stop you can see it is continuously bouncing back and upside down but I want that face should be done so you can select the set rotation set rotation style just connect to it set rotation style left and right so whenever it bounces to the boundary it will again return and change the face not it will turn upside down as I added it will show you that how it is going left and right and bouncing back so this is a short program and here in this scratch you have lots of command lot of instruction it's up to you that how you are using this command and making your own story. So I hope student you have understood this video properly. Write at your system. Till then, have a nice day.